Hello, my name is Kerry Valentine, and I welcome you to MBA 580 Executive Leadership here at the Baker University School of Professional and Graduate Studies. Uh, the objective of this, uh, this brief series of videos is to help orient you to the class, to get you uh, prepared for the uh, next six weeks of content that we'll be working together on. Uh, again, I'm Kerry Valentine. I'll be your instructor for the class. Uh, the first thing I want you to do is, uh, is, is find the course homepage. And my guess is, if you're watching this video, you probably have already found it. But uh, just in case, so you know, if you see this book here at the top, this uh, first Break All the Rules book here at the very top, of course, that's the main text that we're using for this class. That tells you you're at the home page whenever you see that book up there, the image of that book. So, of course, we have an executive uh, leadership handbook that Baker University provides that you should have, which is a collection of hard Harvard uh, Business Journal articles, and uh, and then also the influence uh, and gaining commitment uh, little uh, leadership survey and assessment uh, booklet that you all should also have, which we'll be referencing in the first week. So uh, anyway, that's how you know you're at the course homepage. When you get to that point, I want you to scroll down here, and you'll see some notes from me here about class, a few other things. Important to take this information in, not to just to uh, to go over it too quickly. Make sure you understand understand and comprehend it and if there's something that you you're missing there that seems confusing please give me a call and and uh, the way you can do that is down here at the bottom uh, there's my uh, my telephone number there for it's a dedicated student line it's just for my students that I of the classes that I teach so so uh, go ahead and call that and uh, I'll uh, and if we don't connect give me a voicemail I also work a full-time job as most of you and uh, that being the case we'll speak in the evening or even set a phone appointment if necessary to help clarify things that we may not be able to do over the email. Of course, my email is right up there, the Baker University email account as well. But uh, the first thing I want to do here in this uh, this first series of video is is point you to some of these resources that uh, that are here at the top that you get into before you start the first week's content. And the first one, uh, of course, you'll see there's a special course news and announcements. What that is, if there's any special issues or things that are coming up that uh, could perhaps alter our plans in some way, uh, that's a place that uh, you'll you'll be able to see some announcements or things of of, of importance. Please check that on a regular basis but mostly I provide that for you to uh, give me uh, questions about uh, assignments or different things that uh, that I can give you an answer and then the rest of the class can see those answers and that way we can all communicate more efficiently so it's important for you to know that exists the next thing is of course the OMB executive leadership syllabus uh, that uh, of course you want to download that you should already have it but just in case uh, you want to of course reference that but the first thing I want to do and, and before this video is complete is the discussion board forum rubric and if you click on that link what you're going to get is this document here and uh, the, real, the reason this is so important is because this tells you how you're probably going to be graded when you uh, you're, you're work in the forum and discussion groups how it's going to be graded. Uh, here it gives a criteria. It talks about non-performance, basic, proficient, distinguished. Uh, I can basically tell you that uh, if your post tends to follow the distinguished column over here, that's A territory. Proficient ter area here, when you read these descriptions in this column, you're going to be in B area. and basic here, you're going to be in C. Non-performance, you're going to be D or below. So uh, it's important to look at this rubric uh, to determine again uh, whether or not your post is, is something that's going to be getting you the best grade. I am uh, the kind of student I'm working on my dissertation right now for my PhD. I of course want the A and I like to give out A's by the way. So, uh, so please uh, reference the rubric here so you can truly be earning A work and, uh, and earn that grade and of course this is all uh, engineered to make our forms more useful, more productive, more enjoyable. And uh, so that's the first thing I want you to do is, is look for that rubric. And then in the next video here coming up, I'm going to talk about a couple of other uh, rubrics and uh, some of the assignments as well. So I'll see you in the next video.